first with your, your name and your title? Yeah. Okay. My name is Barry Silver. I have the privilege of being the attorney representing Reverend Elvin Dowling. Uh, the reason why we gathered you today is because there's a new breed of people who seek public office. In the old days, they would do it just to get along with the crowd and advance themselves. Today, we have people in the um, image of John Lewis who believe that you need to stand up and take a stand. And uh, I'm representing Elvin Dowling because that's the type of person he is. The governor is prohibiting people in each county, all 67 counties, from protecting themselves. And it's very dangerous for many people, especially for kids under 12 who aren't vaccinated. So we're here to administer a vaccine. The vaccine that we're administering is called justice. It's called truth. And that vaccine will stamp out ignorance. And I'll uh, let my client fill you in on some of the details. And later on, I will be happy to answer any questions you have legally. We're seeking a few remedies, injunction, and something called declaratory relief, in which we're asking the judge to opine on the executive order that the governor signed, which we think is unconstitutional. There's two reasons, mainly. One is it violates the constitutional amendment, which was Article 9, Section 1, over 2 million people in Florida voted to have the state required to provide safe, secure schools. And so that's why we filed this lawsuit. Reverend Dowling. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. You can say your, your name and title, sir. I am the Reverend Elvin J. Dowling. I am a candidate for United States Congress for Florida's 20th Congressional District. I am also a parent and a plaintiff in this lawsuit against Governor Ron DeSantis with regard to his executive order that is barring local school districts from mandating masks in school. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, many years ago that at the end of the day, it is not the voices of our enemies, but the silence of our friends that we will remember. I refuse to remain silent while the hapless, feckless, heartless governor of the state of Florida puts all of our children, including my three children who are in Broward County schools in harm's way. And so today I am pleased to announce that I have filed a lawsuit in state court today to challenge the governor's executive order that will not allow our students to wear masks in school. Let's be clear, this is a matter of safety. This is a matter of the well-being of our children. This is a matter of life and death for many of our kids. And so we want to urge the courts today to tell the governor of Florida that you cannot play Russian roulette 